to kickstart the new year I decided to round up all of my favourite beauty products from 2020. I have more or less divided this into three sections. We have a makeup skincare and hair care over here. I'll try and add some timestamps so if you're only interested in hair care you can skip to that section. I don't want to make this video really really long so I'm just going to jump into the makeup. First I have two lipsticks. Just to remember these products aren't all new launches from 2020. They're just stuff that I have been enjoying in 2020. So they could be old or new. This first lipstick is Ted Baker. I love the packaging on it. It is in a kind of a rose gold. The color is a nice deep purple. It's really creamy on the lips as well. And actually bought this nail varnish as well. It's actually Ted Baker. And these two came together. I've been loving that color, really nourishing on the lips. And I definitely want to try out more of the Ted Baker makeup range and the second lipstick that I've used loads of is MAC Velvet Teddy. This is nearly all gone by now. But this one is a nice everyday colour. I haven't really been getting the use of my darker shades. I've just been using an everyday shade all the time. So the Velvet Teddy one I've used loads this year. Next I have a kind of a duo. This one is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Concealer. And it is in the shade Medium Warm 07. I've actually used up the full thing of that. I can't really show you what's left so I'm trying to use a concealer brush to get into that and to go with that I bought the complexion rescue tinted hydrating gel cream also from bare minerals this year I've been really getting to know my skin a lot more and I've been focused on buying products especially foundation products that incorporate skincare into the foundation which I really enjoyed. I think it's important to have and if you can do both why not have both so it's the added benefit of skincare and makeup. So this one was a really good this year. It's only a tinted cream so this is not a full coverage highlighter. Highlighter? <laughs> this is not a full coverage foundation. It's just a tinted cream but it has SPF 30 in it so you have your sun protection in it as well and this is just what I've been using during the lockdown in the days where I'm not really needing like full coverage 16 hour makeup and it's just great. It just gives you the even skin tone if you know what I mean it just evens out your whole skin tone and then this one I just have for those blemishes that I just want the extra coverage on or under your eyes any of those areas the gel cream I'm nearly out of that now and this one I'm going to repurchase again because I really liked it I thought the creamy consistency was lovely and the coverage was long lasting as well. The Complexion Rescue, I bought that in Ginger 06. Obviously guys there was so many more favourites that I had for makeup but I didn't want to overload the video with loads of products. I just wanted to incorporate the ones that I used the most over the 12 months of 2020. One more thing that I forgot in the makeup section was this eyeshadow palette. This is the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. I have plenty of eyeshadow palettes, but for some reason I just always go back to this one. It's just so beautiful, the shades in it. They have some warm tones and some glittery tones as well. Um, if you haven't checked this palette out in particular, I would really recommend it. I think I've just basically use this palette all year round. Another sup of the green tea. You'd be surprised how dry your throat gets doing these videos. It's unbelievable. This shirt is from Topshop by the way. I really like it. I had to run downstairs and get a new battery. 
So next section is the skincare section. As I mentioned, I have been trying to get better with my skincare this year. I will leave a link in the description box to my summer skincare routine. I do need to get around to doing an updated version, so I will be doing that very soon, hopefully. So for washing with this, I've mentioned this before, the Dublin Herbalist cleansing gel with apricot and carrot seed. This I used in my summer skincare routine. So if you want to see that in action, you can go and watch that video. So it's a lovely product. I've used about three full pots of this during 2020 and I just love it. The gel really melts the makeup off. I normally use a micellar water to take the heavy makeup off first and then use this with a what is it a cotton no it's not a cotton it's a bamboo washcloth that I use which is better than a cotton washcloth that's what I use to take off my makeup I just feel like it's lo a lovely natural product Dublin Herbalist they are really well known for their natural ingredients I would recommend that I've had other products of them as well and I've loved everything that I bought from the brand so I'd really recommend that. Then I tried some of the Ordinary products this year as well. This is their serum, their Nacinamide and Zinc High Strength Vitamin and Mineral Blemish Formula. So this was for the blemishes. It says here that it regulates sebum and minimizes pores. So I've been using this in the morning and in the night time. I've bought about three bottles of this during the year. So it's just a clear product. The Ordinary Company is also one of those that is known for no perfumes and stuff like that. So their products are quite, what's the word? Their products are quite minimal. So they pride themselves on just having small ingredient lists on the back of their products so with these products you need to kind of learn more about your skin and what you would need in a product because they have so many different serums that you can buy specifically what you think you need for the type of blemishes that you get whether they're whiteheads or bacterial or whatever I'm gonna keep buying that because I really like it and it's actually a nice consistency as well. It goes on quite nicely and then it dries kind of, not sticky, but I feel like it just tightens everything. So that's something that I really enjoy the feel of. And then afterwards, I moisturize on top of that as well. My mum says I'm a really loud swallower. So I feel really shy now swallowing on camera. For moisturiser I have here the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream in the Light. So I've used the, you know, the, the original cream a lot of times. And this year they came out with the light version, which I think works a lot better for my skin. If you tried the original Charlotte Tilbury moisturiser and you felt it was a little bit thick, I would recommend trying the lightweight one. This one is really actually light coverage so it's nice it doesn't feel like your skin is very heavy i still use the original cream in at night time because it's easier just to have a thicker cream at night so i'll just show you this how light it is on the cream here so you can see that just disappeared straight into my skin there I only did just get this in November but I wanted to include it in here because I did use the Charlotte Tilbury moisturizer for the rest of 2020 and I think that if you're a Charlotte Tilbury fan you would love this lightweight version as well because this one did only come out in 2020. Finally in the skincare we have a little eye cream here. This is by the brand Origins and it is the Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff. So my eyes do have some bags underneath them. And like I do what I can with the concealer and that. 
but I do find that this product really does depuff them. Sometimes when I wake up, especially when I wake up in the morning, my eyes are quite puffy in that. This product really helped. And what I do with this actually, I use a little bit of the cream, but I actually take some of the cream and I put it on my whole eye, like not just underneath the eye here, but like over my eyelid. And I can see a difference in the puffiness of this, like two minutes after I put it on. It's really nourishing and it's nice on the eyes. I tend to get dry skin right here, like where my nose and my eye is. So it's really nourishing for that as well. One of the things I always like to double check when it comes to the skincare products as well is how well they sit underneath the makeup because that is a factor as well. I don't want to use a product that is going to cake my concealer or anything like that. So this product works really well underneath the makeup as well. So that's one of the tests that I like to do when I'm testing new skincare products. Okay, I only have two random ones here so I'll do those first before I jump into the hair care because they'll be really quick. So the first one is my electric toothbrush. Now I got this last year, I think got it for Christmas last year but I love it. I'm really converted to an electric toothbrush user. I use this day and night obviously and you know I've bought the heads as well for it and change that out. It tells you exactly how long you need to brush your teeth for. There's a little light here to tell you when to charge it and if you're applying too much pressure as well it lets you know. So I find that helpful. This one is the Oral B Braun. It's like B-R-A-U-N. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation but I've used this all year and any time I go somewhere and bring my manual toothbrush because this is quite a lot to bring in the bag I just felt not the same I just love the feel of the electric toothbrush now and if I don't have it I really miss it so a bit of a random one but I thought I would include it in this video and the second one here is a perfume that I love. This is my second bottle of it. This is Narcisco Rodriguez for her Eau de Perfume in a 50ml. It comes in a black box, but it's a beautiful pink color on the inside. It's nice as a display bottle as well. It's really nice. I'll put a little bit on now because I like it. I am quite fussy when it comes to perfumes. I always tend, and it's like this with candles as well. Does anyone else get this right? I feel that sometimes perfumes are so close to being bathroom air fresheners that there's just such a fine line between that. So I'm really picky when it comes to what perfume I wear. As soon as I smell something, I'm like, mm, bathroom air freshener, like that's not nice. So I'm really fussy with the perfumes. I don't know if it has the notes on this. I'm going to look them up and write it on screen so you know. But if you haven't tried this and you're looking for a new perfume to try, I really like this and it's definitely not bathroom air freshener. I'm sorry, I can't describe what the scent is like, but hopefully with the notes you might get an idea. So try this out if you get a chance. The final section here is the hair care. Another thing that I'm very passionate about, I am very, very passionate about my hair and I love to take care of it as well. So I love trying out new shampoos and hair masks and different products to see what I like the best. This one is tried and tested by me and I can promise that it is really good. So the banana shampoo from The Body Shop I have mine like this right now because I'm trying to get like the last wash out of the bottle. It's so good. Sorry that those are upside down. This smells so good. Your hair smells like a banana coming out of this. And I just feel that my hair is so soft and nourished after this particular shampoo. It's just 
gorgeous i love it so much and with that as well i also purchased the banana shampoo hair mask truly nourishing hair mask for normal to dry hair it smells great i need to smell it again mm. it's just so nice so that's what that looks like so i'd say i use this hair mask about once a week that would really be enough i don't really wash my hair that much probably two to three times a week so at one at one time i'll use the hair mask as well and just leave the hair mask on while you're doing something else like shaving your legs or whatever it only needs about five minutes on your hair and then you can just wash it out again so this is 100 percent vegan i'm nearly sure that these are vegan as well as it's vegetarian so it's not vegan so this is vegetarian, this is vegan. You know, the body shop is well known to be one of those shops that is very, very prioritizing of the environment. I love to support that. But just on the hair mask as well, you use this after the shampoo and conditioner. I know some hair masks you put it on and then you shampoo and conditioner but this one is the opposite you shampoo and conditioner and then add the hair mask for five to ten minutes and then just rinse it out and your hair will be really really soft i love this and i would not do without this product if they were going out of stock or sorry if they were if they were discontinuing this product i would be the one that is stocking up like a crazy woman on this product because I love it so much. The final product I have here is the John Frieda Frizz Ease Original 6FX Serum. So it eliminates frizz, humidity protection, heat protection, smooths, hydrates and tames. As you can see my hair is quite thick and I like to use the serum to just smooth down any of the frizz that I have especially when i'm wearing a ponytail like this i like to just be quite straight back and then just nice like that I use this product a lot after i wash my hair you only need like a tiny tiny amount of it i find that it makes such a difference and i did use the john frieda shampoo and conditioner before and i really like that i thought that was very good they have a whole range of this frizz ease collection basically and i did find that it actually worked really well so serum i use this after i blow dry my hair just through the ends not really at the roots only if i was kind of doing a ponytail and i wanted like a slick look but mostly just here at the ends to just give them a bit of moisture and eliminate the frizzy bits so everyone, that is all of the products I was loving in 2020. If you do have any recommendations for me to try, I'd love to hear them. So do comment below what your favorite products were and I will give them a go. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, do subscribe, I'd love to have you back. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.